in in terms of uh, colon screening, uh, we have to discuss in two entity: the mass screening and the individual screening. Mass screening is like a national program for the colon screening. Uh, I think sometimes in some country, especially also in Thailand, maybe it's not possible to tell everyone who is more than 45 to 50 years to come for colonoscopy because of the uh, limitation of the of the doctors who can perform the procedure or the limitation of the healthcare service. So in that case, in terms of the, the, the mass screening program, usually they started with the stool occult blood. We check the stool to look for the chemical test of the blood, which means that if you have some kind of bleeding, it means that maybe you have the big polyp or maybe ulcer or cancer or some other disease of the colon. And if you check the stool, which is quite a simple way to collect it, and it's non-invasive, and you can do it in a big group of the of the people, no, 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 not much cost. If the stool test show positive, then you have to come to see the doctor, and then that's the indication to check the colon by colonoscopy. There is a limitation of using the stool as a screening, uh, because actually, if you detect the stool test to make it more accurate. You have to collect two or three stool samples, two or three consecutive days to represent the whole colon. And at the same time, we know that if the polyp is too small, especially if the polyp is smaller than 10 mm, the stool test will be negative for blood, which means that the stool test is for detect the big polyp or the colon cancer, but not the small polyp. Uh, the other option is that we can do another test, which is I think is going to be uh, coming. But uh, right now, at this point, the expense of the, 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 the test is still very high. Is that when I mentioned about the, the way that the colon developed to be cancer, it has to have some kind of gene change. We can use the DNA test in the stool to identify if there are some DNA which we collect from the cells of the stool show something wrong. The sensitivity of the DNA test uh, for the colonic polyp detection is approached 70 to 80%, which is good. The problem is the price is still very expensive. Right now, sometimes it's still more expensive than the procedure, I mean, the colonoscopy itself. So I think it's not yet commercially available. The, the third one that we used to do for the colon, colon screening, barium enema, which we use the contrast to put in the colon, and we do the examination by using the X-ray. The aim is to put the barium to coat the whole colonic wall and see the, the figure, the configuration of the colon. If it's suspected of any ulcer or mass, but actually right now it's not available because barium itself has been claimed as a toxic agent. So we use less, less barium. And with this method, we can miss the two centimeter polyp, more than 50%. So it's not suitable for the, the screening. The other, which is uh, a little bit more popular in the Western, uh, especially in Europe, is using the capsule. That is the, the capsule, which is the camera, two-side camera, uh, making it in as uh, like a, a pill-like, which is a big one, about this size, and you have to swallow it. Before that, you have to do a very clear bowel preparation. And the capsule gonna be not working for two hours. When it pass into the colon, it start working, and start capture the photo on the front view and the back view of the the the, the capsule. And then we're gonna uh, retrieve the data to run as a video. Uh, the problem of the colonic capsule is that it's not controllable because it's gonna be moved by itself, regardless of the colonic movement. So there is uh, a chance that it may miss some polyp because you cannot check back and forth. It depended on how it captured the photo. Uh, right now, the data comparing with the colonoscopy, I think it can detect the polyp about 70 to 80%, which is not really good. And one thing, I mean, when we detect the polyp by colonic capsule, we have to uh, do the procedure by colonoscopy to cut the polyp because this is just a pure diagnosis. And the price right now is still as equal as colonoscopy in Thailand. So it will be not popular here. The last one is the colonoscopy, which is, uh, in my opinion, for individual colonic cancer screening, this is the best one. Because uh, we can do everything as uh, one stop. 
we can check the colon by uh, visualization. It means that we can check back and forth during the procedure. We can clean if the colon is not clean enough. And then if we, take, we detect the polyp, we can try to identify and check the character of the polyp to see if it's just as a benign polyp or it could be a malignant one. And then we also can do the procedure to remove the polyp by cut it out or maybe we can get the tissue for diagnosis. So in terms of individual uh, colonic cancer screening, for me, I still prefer colonoscopy. And we don't have to do it very often, actually. That is the recommendation regarded of the colonic findings when we finish the procedure. If you have high risk, and then you check the colon. If your colon is clean, no polyp at all, you can do it again about five to 10 years. But if you have polyp, we have to remove the polyp and then we send the polyp for tissue analysis. The next procedure will depend on the types and the cell types and the size of the polyp. If you have to come back in one year, two years, three years or five years. Mm -hmm.